In this video, we're going to introduce you to Top 10, which is a popular post plugin for WordPress. We're going to start by heading into the WordPress dashboard, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you've got the plugin installed and activated. If you've already done that, like I have, you'll notice that you have a new menu item in the bottom left hand area called Top 10. So we're going to go through to this, and here is where you can change all the settings pertaining to this particular plugin. A lot of them are probably ones you won't need to do any modification to at all. And indeed, we're not going to go through all of them today. Uh, we're just going to quickly show you some of them though, uh, that you can exclude certain categories, where you want to display views, do you want to track the admins and editors and so on. So that's really about logged in people. So often it doesn't make any sense to really track what someone who's logged in is viewing. Uh, moreover, it does make sense to track what people who aren't logged in are viewing because they'll be uh, your site's visitors. You can also change the defaults for the output here in terms of what it actually says, the title of the widget and so on. You can change the HTML and also the CSS so that you can really easily make changes to the display. But of course, you can obviously write your own CSS as a part of the theme that you're using to change the display of the popular post on your website. If you've made any changes here, of course, just make sure you hit save options. Then what we can do is head over and look at the overall popular post just to get a feel for how it looks. Here you can see there's probably only about eight items in there or seven items in there at the moment. That's because this is only a demo website. Of course, if you have your own website out there on the internet and it's reasonably popular, then you'll have a much bigger set of data in here. So if you're only really interested in using this plugin to track what's popular on your website, uh, as opposed to using a service such as say Google Analytics, then that's just fine and that's probably all you'll need to know about actually using this plugin. If you would like to use the plugin to display your popular post, that's super easy to do as well. All you need to do is jump over to appearance and then go down to widgets, find the popular post widget, choose where you'd like to add it, I'll put it in the main sidebar and then we'll just pop it up the top so it's really easy to see. Here you can choose to set what the title will be, how many posts you'd like, how many days you would like it to go through, do you want to show these particulars, the, the count, excerpt, author, and the date, and so on, and as well as a thumbnail if you'd like to do that. Of course, if you don't actually choose any of these, the defaults will be pulled out of the actual plugin settings anyway. So just like that at default, it's totally fine to use. So what I want to do now is jump back to the front page and just make sure it's working. And as you can see, over on the left hand side, we've got that list of popular posts. Uh, as mentioned, we didn't actually really make any changes to the settings and you can do that to the settings of the plugin or to the particular widget if you want to change how it displays on the front end of your website. But that's it for this video. It's a pretty handy plugin to have a great way to show uh, more content, more of your popular content to your uh, website visitors and it can make a nice complement to the recent post widget that's included as a default with WordPress. So if you have any questions about what we've done today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.